So you just gotta tell me when. Ready to go when you are. I'm ready. You are live, Councilmember Juarez. Great. Okay, everybody. The October 19th, 2020 meeting of the Seattle City Council will come to order. It is 2.05. I'm Deborah Juarez, pro, President Pro Tem of the Council. Will the clerk please call the roll? Sawant. Here. Strauss. Present. Herbold. Here. Lewis. Present. Morales. Here. Mosqueda. Here. Peterson. Here. Council President Pro Tem Juarez. Here. Eight present. Okay. Thank you. If there's no objection, Council President Gonzalez will be excused today from today's City Council meeting. And Councilman Gonzalez, I hope you're not watching. I hope you're getting well. And we look forward to you being back Monday. Hearing no objection, Council President Gonzalez is excused from today's meeting. Uh, two housekeeping matters. So today, you guys, the preference in order to be recognized, can you just raise your hand? Because I'm not going to be looking at the screen or my phone. So just do this. Dan, can you do this? Good. <laughs> And so it looks like we got 23 items on today's agenda and 21 of those are appointments. So we'll just get started. Uh, presentations, I'm not aware of any presentations today. Approval of the minutes. The minutes of the Seattle City Council meeting of October 12th, 2020 have been reviewed. If there is no objection, the minutes will be signed. Hearing no objection, the minutes are being signed. Will the clerk please affix my signature to the minutes? I move to adopt the introduction and referral calendar. Is there a second? Second. Uh, um, sorry, uh, um, uh, uh, Madam President, I move to um, amend uh, the introduction and referral calendar um, uh, by introducing Council Bill 119942 entitled an ordinance, um, amending ordinance 126000 which adopted the 2020 budget, amending ordinance uh, 126148, amending a proviso and ratifying and confirming certain prior acts and by referring it to the city council. Second. Mr. Lou, I was actually, thank you. I was actually, thank you guys. I was actually on my way there. It's been moved and seconded. Councilor Lewis, I understand you have an amendment to the introduction, but thank you. Oh, thank sorry. You I, I, I didn't. I didn't realize it. that's right. We had to queue it up first and then I moved to amend it. It's been a while that's since I've been through the amending introduction referral calendar. That's all right. Okay, so you did that. So is there any objection? We had a second, right? There was no objection. We had a second. Oh, yeah, we did at least a second. Council Member Herbal, you seconded it, correct? Yeah. It's been seconded, Councilmember um, Juarez. This is Amelia Sanchez, apologies. Um, before we move on though, we do need to um, also suspend the council rules before we can um, further consider this amendment to the introduction and referral calendar. That's what I was gonna do. So I will go back to, um, I understand you have an amendment to the in introduction referral calendar to induce, introduce a bill that was not distributed by 5 p.m. on Friday. Before you can move your amendment, the council rule relating to circulation of bills for induction will need to be, we will need to be suspended. Hearing no objection, the council rule relating to the circulation of bills for introduction, not on the published introduction referral calendar will be suspended. Hearing no objection, council rule is suspended and council member Lewis has the floor to move his amendment. You wanna do that again, Mr. Lewis? Yes, thank you, Madam President, just to be um, safe, I'm happy to. Uh, I move to amend the introduction referral calendar by introducing Council Bill 119942 entitled an ordinance amending ordinance 126000, which adopted the 2020 budget, amending ordinance 126148, amending a proviso and ratifying and confirming certain prior acts and by referring it to the City Council. Great, thank you. It's been moved and seconded to amend the introduction or referral calendar by introducing Council Bill 119942 and by referring it to the City Council. Are there any comments? Okay. Will the clerk please call the roll on the adoption of the amendment? Sawant? Yes. Strauss? Yes. Herbold? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Morales? Yes. Mosqueda? Yes. P 
Peterson. Yes. Pro Tem Juarez. Yes. All right. Eight in favor, none opposed. Thank you. The motion carries and the introduction and referral calendar is amended. Are there any further comments? Will the clerk call the roll on the adoption of the amended introduction and referral calendar? Swant. Yes. Strauss. Yes. Herbold. Yes. Lewis. Yes. Morales. Yes. Mosqueda. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Pro Tem Juarez. Yes. Eight in favor, none opposed. The motion carries and the amended introduction to referral calendar is adopted. We'll move to the approval of the agenda. If there's no objection, the agenda will be adopted. Hearing no objection, the agenda is adopted. Colleagues, at this time, we will open the remote public comment period for items on the City Council agenda, introduction or referral calendar, and Council's 2020 work program. I thank everyone for their ongoing patience and cooperation as we continue to operate. Oh, what happened? Oh, <laughs> as we continue to operate this remote public comment system. It remains the strong intent of the City Council to have remote public comment regularly included on meeting agendas. However, as a reminder, the City Council reserves the right to end or eliminate these public comment periods at any point if we deem that this system is being abused or is no longer suitable for allowing our meetings to be conducted efficiently and effectively. I will moderate the public comment period in the following manner. The public comment period for this meeting is 20 minutes and each speaker will be given two minutes to speak. I will call or the clerk will call on each speaker by name and the order in which they registered on the council's website. If you have not yet registered to speak, but would like to, you can sign up before <clears throat> the end of public comment by going to the council's website at seattle.gov backslash council. The public comment link is also listed on today's agenda. Once the clerk calls the speaker's name, staff will unmute the appropriate microphone and an automatic prompt of you have been unmuted will be the speaker's cue that is their turn to speak. And speaker must press star six to begin speaking. Please begin speaking by stating your name and the item that you are addressing. As a reminder, public comment should relate to an item on today's agenda, the introduction referral calendar, or the council's 2020 work plan, work program. Speakers will hear a chime when 10 seconds are left of the allotted time. Once you hear the chime, we ask that you begin to wrap up your public comment. If speakers do not end their comments at the time of the allotted time provided, the speaker's microphone will be muted to allow us to call on the next speaker. Once you have completed your public comment, we ask that you please disconnect from the line if you plan to continue following the meeting, please do so via Seattle channel or the listening options listed on the agenda. The public comment period is now open and we will begin with the first speaker on the list. Please remember again to press star six before speaking. Madam Clerk, you wanna start um, calling our speakers? The first speaker we have is Howard Gale. Mr. Gale. Sir. I believe you have to press star six, Mr. Leo. Hi. 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 Can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. We can hear you. Okay. Hi. Good afternoon. This is Howard Gale, Lower Queen Anne District 7, speaking on public safety and police accountability. Um, to today, you're going to be confirming the appointments of 21 young people to 21 different Seattle City commissions and boards. Virtually all of these boards and commissions have public comment, and most have some meetings in the evening. Contrast this to the Seattle Community Police Commission, the CPC, the only police accountability body that is supposed to represent the community. They are not getting any of these youth appointments. Further, the Federal Court Memorandum of Understanding, which oversees police reform in Seattle and created the Seattle Community Police Commission, requires, quote, a mechanism to ensure that membership is representative of the many and diverse communities in Seattle including members from each precinct of the city, which they do not have on the Community Police Commission, police personnel, faith communities, minority, ethnic, and other community organizations, and student or youth organizations. For the last 
five years, there has not been student or youth participation on the Community Police Commission. Further, the Community Police Commission has prohibited public comment. It only holds its meetings during the day, and it has also failed to hold any of its mandated public forums for nearly six years now. These are public forums that are mandated both in the Memorandum of Understanding from the federal court and in the 2017 city legislation. Um, so once more, I call upon the council, please, you can't just defund the police. You must defund our police accountability system, which has been entirely divorced from the community, and instead fund a real alternative base in the community for police accountability. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Who else we got? Madam Clerk. There's no other speakers. Great. So are we done with public comment? Yes. Okay, with that then, I will formally close public comment. Let's go to payment of the bills. Please read the title. Council Bill 119941, appropriate money to pay side of the claims for the week of October 5th, 2020 through October 9th, 2020 and ordering the payment thereof. Thank you. Move to pass Council Bill 119941. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded that the bill pass. Are there any comments? Hearing no comments, uh, please call the roll on the passage of the bill. Sawant? Yes. Strauss? Yes. Herbold? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Morales? Yes. Mosqueda? Yes. Peterson? Yes. Councilmember Juarez? Yes. Eight in favor, none opposed. Thank you. The bill passes and the chair will sign it. Will the clerk please affix my signature to the legislation on my behalf? Okay, so let's go to our agenda. Item one, please read item one to the record. Agenda item one, Council Bill 119875, relating to the Seattle Parks and Recreation Authorization and Amendment to the Interlocal Agreement between the City of Seattle and the Seattle Parks District. Thank you. I move to pass Council Bill 119875. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded to pass the bill. As sponsor of this bill, I will address it first and then open the floor to more comments from my colleagues. We've discussed this amendment for a few months now. On April 28th, 2014, the Seattle City Council approved ordinance 124468, which authorized an interlocal agreement between the City of Seattle and the Metropolitan Park District for implementation of park and recreation services and infrastructure in Seattle. Pre-COVID, the original schedule would have been to use this year, 2020, to plan the next six year cycle of Metropolitan Park District spending, the spending plan which is scheduled for 20, 2021 to 2026. However, COVID has shifted our timelines and we must adjust Council Bill 119875. We must adjust, I'm sorry. Council Bill 119875 is an amendment to the interlocal agreement, which authorizes the delay in the event of an emergency like COVID-19. The MPD board will consider resolution 36 and 37 later this afternoon, which concurrently um, we'll complete the interlocal agreement amended, but on the what we call the Metropolitan Park District side. I recommend Council adopt this bill. Are there any comments on the bill? Will the clerk please call the roll on the passage of the bill? Sawant? Yes. Strauss? Yes. Herbold? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Morales? Yes. Mosqueda? Councilmember Mosqueda? Peterson? Yes. Councilmember Juarez? Yes. Seven Anyone in favor and opposed. Okay, so we'll just go forward without Councilmember Mosqueda. Correct. Okay. 
The bill passes and the chair will sign it. Will the clerk please affix my signature to the legislation on my behalf? Madam President, I'm sorry, I could not get off mute. Yes, I. <laughs> I'm glad to see that I'm not the only one that does that. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Thank you. Thank the you, Council Member Viscuit. In that. favor, none opposed. Great, thank you. So we are gonna get into the um, appointments, 21 of them, the ones that we discussed this morning that Council Member Herbolt walked us through this morning. Thank you very much. Um, will the clerk please read items two to 22 into the record? Agenda items 2 through 22, appointment 1640 through 1660, the appointments of John Rodenzo as member, Landmarks Preservation Board, Jessica Vu as member, Board of Parks Commissioners, Arohi Soji as member, Sale Immigrant and Refugee Commission, Mary Claire Sokolowski as member, Sale Center Advisory Commission, Yasmina Seves as member, Sale LGBTQ Commission, Chelsea Jacobson as member, Sale Women's Commission, Robel B. Mulegata as member of Sale Human Rights Commission, Paula Orego as member of Sale Commission for People with Disabilities, Raquel West as member of Sale Arts Commission, Ori Bryan as member of Sale Pedestrian Advisory Board, David Kurichenko as member of Community Technology Advisory Board, Jose Ulises Nino Rivera as member, Seattle Bicycle Advisory Board, Andrew Parker as member, Seattle Transit Advisory Board, Chloe Caswell as member, Seattle Ventures Commission, Elena Arakaki as member, Urban Forestry Commission, Kim Baker as member, Seattle Design Commission, Sam Dawson as member, Pioneer Square Preservation Board, Margaret Honig as member, Design Review Board, Robin Kim as member, Community Involvement, excuse me, Community Involvement Commission, Connor Stein as member, Design Review Board. Caleb Tewaldi as member, Seattle Planning Commission. All appointments for term to August 31st, 2021. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Council members, we had an opportunity to discuss and meet a number of the 2021 Get Engaged and point appointees during this morning's council briefing with Council Member Herbold. If there's no objection, we will consider the 21 appointments in the following manner. We will begin by considering the first two appointments individually to allow the sponsors to amend those appointments. And then we will open the floor on the remaining 19 appointments for council members to comment on their respective appointments. Once council members comments have concluded, we will take one vote on the 19 appointments. Are there any questions, objections on this proposal? Good. Okay, after hearing no objections, we will proceed with the first two appointments with an individual vote. So agenda item number two, I move to confirm appointment 1657. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded to confirm the appointment. Council member Strauss, as a sponsor, you are recognized in order to address it and move your amendment. Thank you, Councilmember Juarez. Uh, John Rodenzo has a master's of has a master's of architecture from the University of Washington, and recently interned for the city of Kirkland with a focus on historic preservation. I've been informed by our clerks that this is one of the uh, appointments that needs amendment, and I would like to move to amend appointment one six five seven appointment packet by substituting the unexecuted notice of appointment with an executed notice of appointment as presented on the agenda. Thank you. It has been moved and seconded to substitute the notice of appointment with an executed version. Are there any comments? Okay, will the clerk please call the roll on the adoption of the substitute? Sawant. Yes. Strauss. Yes. Herbold. Yes. Lewis. Yes. Morales. Councilmember Morales. Yes. Ms. Can you Gitter? hear me? Okay. Yes, I, I got you. Thank, Thank you. you. Ms. Gitter says aye. Thank you. Peterson. Yes. Councilmember Juarez. Thank you. I mean, yes. Eight in favor, uh, none opposed. Thank you. The motion carries and the substitute is adopted. Are there any further comments on the amended appointment? Okay. So, um, 
So now will the clerk please call the roll on the confirmation of the amended appointment? Sawant. Yes. Strauss. Yeah. Herbal. Yes. Lewis. Yes. Morales. Yes. Mosqueda. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Councilmember Juarez. Yes. Eight in favor, none opposed. The motion carries and the appointment is confirmed. We will now move or consider item number three, Ms. Jessica Vu. I move to confirm appointment 1660. Is there a second? Second. Okay. It's been moved and seconded to confirm the appointment as sponsor of this item. I will address it um, and I will address it and move it as an amendment. I move to amend appointment 1660 by correcting the record by deleting WU and adding VU. So her last name is Jessica Vu. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. Uh, since this is one of the um, appointments that we are moving, let me say a few words for Jessica Vu for the Board of Park Commissioners. This is a mayoral appointment for the Get Engaged program. Jessica has a commitment to racial equity, which is important for the Board of Park Commissioners, where you must identify land use priorities for the community <clears throat> related to open space and outdoor recreation. We're excited to see Ms. Boo be appointed to the Board of Park Commissioners. I recommend the council approve this appointment. So after that, I say it has, uh, I move to amend the appointment 1660 by correcting the record by deleting, I did that already. So did I get a second? Yes, I got a second. It's been moved and seconded to amend the record to correctly reflect Ms. Boo's last name. Are there any comments? Okay. Will the clerk please call the roll on the adoption of the amendment? Sawant. Yes. Strauss. Yes. Herbold? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Morales? Yes. Mosqueda? Yes. Peterson? Yes. Councilmember Juarez? Yes. Eight in favor, none opposed. The motion carries and the amendment is adopted. Are there any further comments on the amended appointment? I already did that. We did the roll call on the confirmation of the amended appointment. The motion carries, the appointment is confirmed. We will now consider the remaining 19 appointments, items four to 22. I move to confirm appointments 1640 through 1656 and appointments 1658 and 1659. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded to confirm the appointments. I will now call on each sponsoring council member in the order of the roll call. I will begin with council member Sawant. Councilor Sawant, you are recognized in order to address your appointment. Sorry, there are no, I, I don't think there are any appointments from. I think this one's mine. Yeah. Oh, says Sawant, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking for Council President Gonzalez. Yeah, you're number three on my list here, but okay, you can go. Thank you. Now, let me get to my place. Now I've lost my place here. All right. So this is for Arohi Shogi. Um, Arohi is currently studying at the University of Washington with the aspiration of pursuing a career in law as an African-American immigrant from Ethiopia. Arohi has demonstrated her internal drive and commitment to challenge institutionalized racism and create positive systemic change by expanding social justice and serving in the community. Um, we're really excited to have her join the Seattle Immigrant and Refugee Commission. Great, thank you. So second, we have Council Member Strauss. You have eight appointments. You're recognized in order to address your appointments. Thank you, uh, Council Member Juarez, and I can just go through and speak to all of them at this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great, thanks. Uh, so uh, the appointment of Elena Arakaki to the Urban Forestry Commission. Elena spoke to us this morning. She is the Urban uh, Wild, 
urban to wild coordinator at the Wilderness Society, where she supports an equitable access to parks, green spaces in the county, including uh, she authored a study on transit access to parks. We're very excited to have Elena. Uh, the appointment of Kim Baker to the Seattle Design Commission. Uh, Kim spoke to us this morning, and she has a master's in public health and a certificate in human-centered engineering, as well as a background experience as an educator on regional and global health. The appointment of Sam Dawson to the Pioneer Square Preservation Board. Sam has a BA in International Affairs from Marquette University. He currently works as the development coordinator at Landessa and has previously worked for Global Brigades in Panama. Uh, the appointment of Margaret Honing to the Design Review Board. Uh, Margaret spoke to us this morning. She has a, a master's in civil and environmental engineering from the UW and is currently a civil design engineer at Magnuson Clemenic uh, Associates. I've said that name a hundred thousand times without stuttering and here we are on camera uh, where she is. Uh, she works on site utility and stormwater design and strategic water planning. So we're very excited to have Margaret to the design review board. We also have the appointment of Robin Kim to the Community Involvement Commission. Robin has a BA in music performance from Portland State University and has, as she said this morning, worked in the service industry, managing bars and servers before uh, COVID led to the pandemic, the economic recession we're experiencing. She mentioned to us this morning that she's interested in accomplishing lasting change for marginalized communities and building toward equitable policies and strategies while funding BIPOC community projects. Excited to have Robin with us. Uh, also, the appointment of Connor Steen to the Design Review Board. Connor is currently pursuing a Master's of Architecture at the University of Washington, recently interned with the Miller Hull Partnership, where he works to reimagine the facilities for nonprofit sailing organizations in, the nor in Northeast Seattle, um, probably up there in D5. That's what it was. Uh, finally, the appointment of Caleb Dwaldi to the Seattle Planning Commission. Caleb is a Colgate University graduate an academic counselor for Rainier Scholars and has worked in Senator Patty Murray's office, helping constituents and residents navigate the federal bureaucracy. Uh, Councilman Wallace, he's also a D5 resident. That's all I have for you. Thank you, Council uh, President Kirkham. Thank you, Mr. Strauss, or Council Member Strauss. Next, we have Council Member Morales. You're recognized in order to address your appointments if you so wish. You don't have to, but if you'd like to afternoon sure um so we did hear from i have five um one of whom was not able to attend this morning's briefing so i'll start with her um uh yazi aceves is a proud queer latinx woman with a strong background in elevated leadership building strong teams and living uh through the values of diversity and inclusion um yazi has made great strides in her chosen career and seeks to apply her knowledge and passion to the seattle lgbtq commission um, she has strong ties to the LGBTQ community and seeks to demystify the inner workings of local government through her term in the Get Engaged program. Um, and additionally, hopes to partner closely with the commission to provide continued focus on job training, placement, and accessibility to members of the LGBTQ community to close the gap for housing and food safety concerns. Um, and then just quickly, um, oh, and Yazi is um, a Get Engaged appointment appointee to the LGBTQ Commission. Raquel well, <laughs> Raquel West, that probably happens a lot. I know Raquel, what you're gonna say. <laughs> you're so well. Raquel West is an appointee to the Seattle Arts Commission. Uh, Raquel recently graduated from the University of Washington with a dual degree in geography and history and a minor in American Indian studies. Um, she studies the physicality of representations within tribal museums. Uh, which is useful in her current job as the collections coordinator for the Northwest Native Art at the Burke Museum. Uh, Paula Orego is a Get Engaged appointee for the people with Commission for the People with Disabilities. Um, Paula uh, graduated from Palo Alto with a degree in psychology and social action and has been an anti-bullying advocate and political activist for 10 years. 
Uh, she looks forward to the opportunity to advocate for the disabled for disabled community members um, in the world of city policy and is currently attending UW pursuing a degree in speech and hearing sciences. Uh, Shalise Jacobson is an appointee to the Women's Commission. Um, and she's previously worked at Planned Parenthood, where she created and led a telemedicine pilot program to help address the disparities caused by traditional health clinics, um, where she communicated with patients to gather feedback about their experiences. Um, she's particularly interested in focusing on how to support women um, through the pandemic. Um, and finally, we have uh, Robel Mulugeta, who's being appointed to the Human Rights Commission. Um, Robel has lived in Seattle his entire life, recently graduated from Yale, where he studied economics with a focus on urban policy, inequality, um, and is excited to serve on the Human Rights Commission uh, because he sees an amazing way to amplify the voices of Seattle's underprivileged communities. He wants to advocate for housing equity and criminal justice reform, and he is a D2 constituent, lives in North Beacon Hill. That is all I have. Thank you. Thank you. So next we have council member Peterson with four appointments. Sir, would you like to speak to your appointments? Thank you, council president pro tem Horace. Um, I, just big picture on all these appointments. It's amazing what, um, you know, all, this great group of young leaders who are able to, who are willing to serve at this time, these challenging times. and. Really, my, my hat goes off to the YMCA for the recruiting process. And it's just, it was really, I was really in awe of all the candidates before us this morning who presented to us at council briefing. If the general public wants to see all of those folks who were presenting this morning, just look at the council briefing from this morning. So four appointments um, that are relevant to my committee, uh, the Transportation Utilities and Technology Committee. So the first appointment, which is item 11 on our agenda, appointment 01647 is Ori Bryan um, to the Pedestrian Advisory Board, which um, advises the executive and the council on uh, policies and projects related to our pedestrian environment with a focus on safety and access. Brian uh, or, or Ori Bryan gets engaged in volunteer activities wherever uh, possible. Um, or he's just demonstrated history of helping others, including as a volunteer crisis counselor and tutoring adults at the Seattle Parks Library on civics, math, English, and job readiness skills. Uh, the next appointment is David Kirichenko to the Community Technology Advisory Board. That board is gonna become even more important as we discuss internet for all. And in fact, uh, David did mention uh, his commitment to um, increasing equitable access to technology and broadband internet throughout the city. Um, David is a fellow at the Agora Computer Security Group and um, has extensive technical experience bringing to the table too. So uh, fully support that appointment. Then um, Jose Rivera to the Seattle Bicycle Advisory Board. Um, as a software engineer at Lyft, um, um, Jose has extensive experience working on transportation network computer system, is an avid user of Seattle's growing bicycle network and will advocate for its continued improvement. Finally, Andrew Parker to the Seattle Transit Advisory Board. Um, and the, um, the Transit Advisory Board is very important, especially as we we look to the future uh, as we get out of the COVID pandemic and recover and we try to expand transit ridership again. Um, Seattle was a national leader in that. Um, so Andrew is an avid user of Seattle Transit uh, when he was growing up and um, has a career in marketing in Seattle and will I think serve us well on the transit advisory board. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Peterson. Um, before I talk about um, the next appointment, Mary Claire Sokolowski, I need to pause and go back to Jessica Vu, and I'll let the clerk go ahead and read in the record what we need to do. Seems Councilmember Hodges, at this point, we 
Yeah, Council Member Juarez, uh, thank you for that. Um, right now, at this moment, we're going to be holding all 19 appointments so we can ensure that we do one more roll call vote to confirm the appointment of Jessica Vu in appointment 1660, which was amended. Okay, so do we just move? Do I, what do I do? Uh, we will call the roll. Okay, see, go ahead, call the roll. Sawant? Yes. Strauss? Yes. Herbold? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Morales? Yes. Thank you. Mosqueda? Yes. Peterson? Yes. Councilmember Juarez? Yes. Eight in favor, none opposed. Thank you. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about one of my or one of our point or the mayoral appointments. That's Mary Claire Sokolowski. And um, again, this is another mayoral appointment that describes Mary's passion for the arts as a great match for the industries connected to the Seattle Center. She's part of the Get Engaged program and is excited to have a deeper understanding of Seattle's local government. Um, before I say anything more about Mary Claire, let me just add this. Um, this morning when we went through all the, um, kind of following where you were at, Councilmember Peterson, I just want the public to know that when we are looking at these appointments, we're looking for the people who want to be appointed and volunteer on the Landmarks Preservation Board, the Board of Park Commissioners, the Immigrant Refugee Commission, the Seattle Advisory Commission, um, the Seattle LGBTQ Commission, the Seattle Women's Commission, the Seattle Human Rights Commission, the Commission for People with Disabilities, the Seattle Arts Commission, the Pedestrian Advisory Board, the Seattle Pedestrian Advisory Board, the Technology Advisory Board, the Seattle Bicycle Advisory Board, Seattle Transit Advisory Board, Seattle, uh, Seattle Renters Commission, Urban Forestry Commission, Seattle Design Commission, Pioneer Square Preservation Board, the Community Involvement Commission, the uh, and the uh, Seattle, did I already say Seattle Planning Commission? So there are, these are just incredible that we have 21 appointments to over a de almost 10 different, 11 different commissions. And so I didn't get a chance to share that this morning, but. I just wanted the public to know that there is a wide variety of commissions and appointments and um, it's nice to see all these folks want to step up and, and do their part. Okay, so now that I've done that, let's see. Are there any other further comments on the appointments? Okay, will the clerk please call the roll on the confirmation of the appointments? Lawant? Yes. Strauss? Yes. Herbold? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Morales? Yes. Mosqueda? Yes. Peterson? Yes. Councilmember Juarez? Yes. Eight in favor, none opposed. Thank you. The motion carries in the appointments. All of them are confirmed. Congratulations to our new appointees to all these phenomenal commissions. Okay, so we will go to the next item, item 23. Will the clerk read the short title of item 23 into the record? Agenda item 23, resolution 31974, setting the time and place for a hearing on the appeal of Robert Wexler, hearing examiner case number CWF-0149. Thank you. I move to adopt resolution 31974. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. It's been moved and seconded to adopt the resolution. Council member, that's me. As the sponsor, I will address the item. This bill sets the time and place for a hearing on one appeal to the hearing examiner's findings and recommendation report of the Waterfront Lead or Local Improvement District number 6751. This resolution sets the hearing of the appeal to January 5th, 2021 and the regularly scheduled Public Assets and Native Communities Committee.
to meet the requirements of the quasi-judicial rules, council must take action this week via this resolution. And this is a mandatory and procedural matter. And we have voted on these in the past. I recommend council confirm resolution 31974. Second. Are there any? Okay. Okay. So, will the clerk please call the roll on the adoption of the resolution? Salant? Yes. Strauss? Yes. Herbold? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Morales? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Mosqueda? Uh, I, I. Peterson? Yes. Council Member Juarez. Yes. Eight in favor, none opposed. Thank you. The resolution is adopted and the chair will sign it. Will the clerk please affix my signature to the legislation on, be on my behalf? That's Nagin you hear over there making comments. Just thought I'd share that. Oh, okay, so other business. Are there any other further business to come before the council? Okay, well, I have some. There's no objection. I will be excused from the October 26th city council meeting. Hearing no objection, I am excused from the October 26th council meeting. Okay, colleagues, this concludes the items on a business on today's agenda. Our next regularly scheduled city council meeting is on Monday, October 26th at two. But before you go, before we adjourn, uh, we will return at 5.30 for our Metropolitan Park District Board meeting in which you are all board members for public comment, a public hearing. We're gonna review two resolutions and have a presentation by Superintendent Jesus Aguirre. And with that, we are now adjoined. Thank you very much.